Welcome to Triton Dine. Today I'm going to share with you a really helpful meal prepping hack that I personally use every weekend to save me time and energy cooking food. So what that is is kind of what I call the power hour. So I know for a lot of us we want to cook more and find that things like time and just energy really get in the way of being able to do that. So what I kind of enjoy doing and what I really recommend is spending about 30 minutes, even up to an hour, one day a week, prepping all the components for the meal for the week that you can. This makes it so much easier to just assemble everything when the time comes to actually prep it. So the first thing you want to do is look at your week ahead. So this is where watching my video on how to start meal planning is really helpful. So once you know what you need to prep, then start to kind of take out the different components. So we're going to start with our grains for the week. So maybe you're making things like potatoes, rice, pasta, quinoa, farro, anything like that. Maybe you have one, likely you'll have two, maybe three. Take the time to make those and get the water boiling so that way they're all nice and done. So here I have some brown rice and some farro that I'm going to use to make a burrito bowl and then also like a farro grain type of a bowl. The next thing is while those are cooking, think about your veggies. For a lot of us, getting our veggies in can be difficult, but I find roasting, adding some flavor, some oils, some spices, seasonings really elevates it so it's so delicious. So what I have here is roasted chickpeas with carrots and cauliflower. I use some olive oil with some salt, pepper, turmeric, and then just put those in the oven, roast it all together, and boom, you're all done, ready to go. Over here, I have some onions and bell peppers with some homemade taco seasoning, so salt, pepper, and then some garlic, some cumin to really give it that kind of spicy flair. So I was able to prep all of these things ahead of time. And then the other last piece is your protein. So on here, I added my chickpeas to that sheet pan. You can also do that with things like salmon or chicken, prep it all together. You can also always cook it separately. But that way, all your components are ready, pre-made, and then you can just assemble and put them together. The great thing is that gives you variety, and then you also can mix and match and play around with all of those components. Join me in some follow-up videos where you'll see me take these and turn them into delicious burrito bowls and a farro-roasted grain bowl. See you next time on Triton Bed.